pamilya. So today we're gonna do towel folding. I'm gonna teach you some things that I've learned uh, working on the boat. So maybe you can be able to use this if you're going to apply to on a boat. So mga kapamilya, I have here three kinds of towels. This is the bath towel. As you can see, it's the largest one. This is the one we are using for um, to dry our body after um, taking a shower. We have the hand towel. Looks like this. This big. So we use it for hands after we use the toilet, for example. And we also have this. It's called face towel or face cloth. So we usually use this one for your face if you feel like not um, like taking a shower. So you just wanted to clean your face so you could be able to use this one. So um, there are some styles that we that I can be able to to um, teach you to make it a little bit more special. Okay. So for example, this bath towel, there are some foldings that we can do at home. So we're gonna look a little more nicer. Okay. So okay, let's do it. So first you wanna fold this. In the middle, and then another one, and then fold it again. So there you go. You can do it like that. What else? Just fold it in half. sometimes you want to roll it like for example you have a basket a nice basket and then you can just fold it in half again and then fold it again one more time so you can do that you roll it You should either use it for boats or in the spa, but also you can use that in your house as well if you wanted to fold it that way. So it's gonna look like that. We're gonna do another one. Simply put it that way. Or like that. And if you have some more, you can put it on top of it. Okay? So next, we're going to do the hand towels. 
So this one, we're going to fold it like that. So when you hang it, there is it's gonna be like this. Okay. I'm gonna do another one. Again, this part. So this face cloth, what you can do here is do it like a fan. And then when you're done, go on the in the middle. show that to you if you're gonna hang it okay let's do the other one again put it in the middle make up okay so let's hang it Okay, so we're gonna hang the uh, bath towels now. So what I usually do is take the bath towels, fold it in three, and then you fold it in half. Again, it's going to be like this, fold it 
Let me show you how it looks like. There you go. Oopsie. It's gonna look like that. Okay. And then I'm gonna tell you when to change the towels for passengers or for your guests. Let's say you're gonna work on the boat. So if you see the towels, um, that they're gonna put it down. On the floor you know if they're gonna put it on the floor that means they want you to change their tablets so always make sure that you have um, more spare than this one okay you can do this one and then you can put some more towels um, on the sides so then um, if they don't want to use this one they could be and also um, let's say if you see the bad towels let's say they, they used it today and they just hang it if it's still clean and it's not so wet that's fine they could be able to use that still but make sure that you have um, a spare towel for them just in case they don't want to use it then they could be able to use the spare towel as well but for example there is a stain on the towel even if it's not wet too wet um, let's say a makeup especially on the face cloths if you see a stain definitely you have to change it okay guys um, so when do you usually change the towels when you're working on a boat or in a yacht or in a hotel usually um, it depends to be honest with your um, leader or with your chief stewardess or chief steward or your um, hotel manager they're gonna tell you to you Sometimes they do it every three days, sometimes they do it every two days, but just like what I've said, if there's any stain on the towel, even if your bosses tells you, um, we're going to change the towels in two days, you know, you don't have to change it today, but if you see a stain on it, that's um, automatically you have to change it. That's the first thing, or else if they put it um, on the floor, you also have to change it, um, that's automatically. No matter what your boss tells you. And also if it's too wet, like very, very, very wet, you know, automatically just change it. And make sure you always have the spare towels. Like um, you have, let's say, two or four more each on the sides. So then if they don't want to use um, the one that they used already, the one that is hanging, um, they could use those spare towels. And they don't need to tell you hey can you bring some more towels in my room you know um as a good housekeeper um or a good um what is it um yeah a good housekeeper 
um, you should be very attentive to to your guests or your to to your passengers or to your you know to your guests. Um, they don't really need to say anything. It's automatically. Um, if you see something that is needed to be changed, you have to change it already. Um, nobody should tell you, hey, do this and do that. All right, you have to be very attentive. So that's it for now. Remember, remember those. Um, tips that I've gave you, it will definitely help you a lot better.